Yeah. But that's all in the past now? The excessive partying. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll never say never. Okay. You know, I, I don't have any plans, you know. I, I've been I've been sober for about what well, a year and four months, something like that. Wow. But uh, and it's been easy and it's been fun, but uh, and quite boring occasionally as well. But uh, I never say never. I, I guess that that's the way I've been able to sustain the sobriety for such a long time. I, I don't make any plans. You know, if you make plans, you're going to be pressurized to, you know. And, and now you just smoke a lot. I don't even smoke that much. That's weird. But that's probably the reason, you know, you can't smoke in bars anymore in, in EU anywhere. And, uh, you know, since I don't drink, I don't smoke a lot. And, you know, I don't smoke weed. I've got asthma. My bronchitis gets really bad with smoking weed. And smoking crack's not good for you if you're a singer. And it's not good for songwriting if you check out Amy Winehouse. And, you know, it's bad for your skin. And so, you know, this I can't smoke a lot of things out there. I wish I could. <laughs> You're becoming a very healthy man. Oh, uh, well, physically, yeah. <laughs> no, well, you know, it's, um, it's a fucking phase. You know, I'll be down in the gutter in no time. Just let me be for two months. I'm going to be a fucking wreck. I'll be all Ozzy Osbourne again, you know. Don't you worry about it. I'll let you know. The next interview is going to happen from the gutter. I'll be in the gutter, yeah. Cool. Well, isn't it? It's really good. And that makes me need even less money. You know, hit a rock, rock. What is it like? Twenty bucks. No, well, he didn't rock bottom. Yeah, crack, crack rock bottom. That's the plan. You know, it doesn't take a lot of money. It takes a lot of energy, though. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit the, hit the crack rock bottom. Yeah. Crack rock bottom. That would be probably the uh, Amy Winehouse is behind, right? Crack rock bottom. Yeah. That's that's a difficult one. Uh, no, I have a crush on her, but she's unfortunately she's married. But the girl, the guy's in jail, so uh, she might forget forget she's married. So. I think she has a few on few occasions, yeah. if you believe what you read. So I might stand a chance. Yeah, you, you do you believe what you read? Uh yeah, everything. I'm like, the, well, it's Dave Saint Hub is from a Spinal Tap. That makes me a wise person. You know, I've just got I'm blue eyed and and uh, and I just believe everything I read. That's the way. You know, everything from Wikipedia, everything, everything. I believe it all. Okay, when, when can we? Uh, when is the new record coming out? You think? What do you think? Well, you know, um, if I'm being realistic, I think that um, it'll be out August the 18th next year. That's a very precise date. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's a weekend or something. <laughs> so, but. Uh, uh, But since we know how it works, you know, if we're gonna, if I'm gonna write a couple of songs, we're taking a bit of time off, meeting with the record company, you know, seeing that everything's fine for the next release. We start rehearsing with the band this year. We go into the studio early next year, which means that that's gonna be two months of recording, uh, a couple of weeks of mixing, uh, mastering, then shooting a video probably, doing a couple of interviews, doing photo sessions, uh, then playing summer festivals. At the same time, hopefully releasing a single, we can push a bit and say to people, hey, we still do exist and we're pretty good occasionally. And then when the summer festival's done, the album hits in the stores and we start touring. What in that entire process do you like most? Sleeping. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I like the whole process. You know, the the cool thing about being in the band is that it's not just music. There's so many things involved. You know, even though I say I'm not a businessman and I don't check out all the de all like design T-shirts, it's still cool to be seeing T-shirts and designing cover artwork and figuring out. Uh, if we have the possibility of meeting some great directors for videos, we, we've been really lucky in the past. You know, it's so there's so many visual things in it as well, and the fact that you get get to travel a lot, see a lot of maybe museums or or bookstores or you know gigs or girls or whatever. You know, it's there's a lot of things involved. It's not just playing a three and a half minute rock song. So I like it all. It, it like balances everything out. Well, thank you very much for the interview, and uh, good luck with the rest. Well, well with with the new record. The rest of our lives, yeah. With the new record and recording, writing it. Well, thank you. I'm 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 very flattered. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks. It's been a great pleasure, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, it won't be another like three years or what, what the, whatever it was. The next day, you know, a lot of happen, but uh, okay. it'll be good. It'll be good.